love stampers. Are you looking for a beautiful yet very simple card to make? I've got one for you today. We're going to be using the direct to paper technique for this card. It's so easy and it really turns out to be a wow card. We're going to be using two stamp sets for this project. One is the Bamboo, Boo, the Bamboo Beauty stamp set. Let me get that out. And then we'll be using also the Birds and Branches stamp set. I'm going to pull in a bird from this set. Um, this has been so useful for my scenes that I've created over the past couple years. It's in the annual catalog, so you'll want to pick that one up. It's a good one. So we're going to start now with our background panel. And like I said, we're going to be using the direct paper method. Um, direct paper is one that I go to time and time again when I want to make some quick cards because really all you're doing is smearing ink um, for your background. So I'm going to start and I always use the short edge of this uh, of an ink pad and I do it at an angle and then I'm going to smear it down and you can smear it upwards. We're just getting some color in our background. Um, I like to leave some white spaces and then we'll go to a different color. Our next color we're going to do mint macaroon. That was granny apple green by the way. We're going to go to mint macaroon and use that same edge and add some of this color down. You can move it up and down. Um, just try not to make a pattern. So that was mint macaroon. Let's bring in some just jade. We'll get a little darker yet. is such a pretty color. I love the blue in it. So there was just jade. And now let's add just a hint of blue. Um, I think I'm going to have my card going this way. And I'm going to bring some blue up in towards the middle. Just for a little different there. There we go. No two of these backgrounds are going to be exactly the same. Um, I don't know how you would even get them to start to be the same. So here's my two backgrounds. And there is no right or wrong for that. You're smearing it on and that is just the background. Um, that's to look like maybe out of focus plants in the background. So we're going to go to Old Olive and we're going to stamp our the thin bamboo branch. There's two branches. There's a thin one and a thick one. We're going to do the thin one. And I'm going to use Old Olive ink and this branch you can bend on your block. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to bend it. And then we're going to stamp it so that we have a branch for our bird to let, sit on nicely. So I'm inking this up with Old Olive and we're going to stamp it kind of at an angle here on the bottom left corner. And I want both ends of the branch to go off of the panel. So I have this end going off here and this end going off here. And there's one. And I'm going to keep it bent for just one more and I think I'm going to go upwards with this one. And then I'm going to straighten it out on my block just so I have a little different branch look here, staying with the old olive. And I'm going to stamp a couple branches here. And one maybe go in that direction. So there's our branches that we need. I'm going to stay with the old olive and I'm going to. We have two sizes of leaves in this set. I have a large leaf and a small one. I'm sticking with the small one for right now. And I'm going to stamp some leaves all over these branches. And I'm trying to kind of hit the branch with the bottom of the stem, just so they're not floating out there. If you miss your mark, just cover it up with a leaf. Add some on this one. All down this one. Let's get quite a bit of foliage here. I think I just want some coming off this branch. 
here at the bottom. And maybe one more here. So we have so our small leaves going in old olive. So now I'm going to change and go to the larger leaf. And I'm going to change colors. I just want a few of the larger leaves in there. And I'm going to go to Ever Evening Evergreen. This is Evening Evergreen ink. And this, I want some good contrast with our leaves. So I'm going to put some of these dark leaves down here at the bottom. There we go. And you can do them at different heights. And then maybe have a couple coming in from the top. Like there's a canopy going on here. There we go. See how those dark leaves just really make that scene pop. So that was Evening Evergreen. And there's our background. We're all ready for our bird. So let's create our bird. We're going to bring in some soft suede. Oh, I, I meant to tell you this is a basic white piece of cardstock. Um, and it's three and a half by five for our main panel. And all the dimensions for this project is below this video. Just click show more and you'll see it down there. And um, all the links to the products are down there also. So you can shop with me. I just wanted to let you know that when you shop with me um, and you place your order using me as your demonstrator, you're gonna get 10 exclusive private videos. Um, I do 10 additional ones every month. And so my customers get those 10 videos. Also, if you spend $50, you also get a token towards a free stamp set. Click 10 of my tokens and you get a free stamp set up to a $30 value. So it really pays to shop with me. So our, let's make our bird now. I'm gonna stamp our bird with soft suede. And this is the outline image, kind of. He's not all filled in. And I have the one that is facing to the right. There's two birds in the set. We're gonna use the one that goes to the right. And that was soft suede that I stamped it in. I'm gonna take a um, light crumb cake marker. And I'm gonna fill in his wing there. Let me color it in a bit. And then I'll take a, a dark basic black stamp and blend marker also. And I'm going to use the chisel point for this. And I'm going to go right down the bottom of his wing and out. And then I'm going to add just a few strokes in here for like feathers. And then I'm going to color his tail in black. And also his beak and add a dot for his eye. And there is our bird all colored in. Um, there is a coordinating die set for the birds and branches stamp set, but I'm just gonna cut our little bird out here. He's super easy to cut out. So I cut him out and magic of video, here he is. So we're gonna add him to our branch up here. I'm just gonna glue it on and I think a bird has attitude, depending on how I want it to look. If I want him to be real cheerful, you're going to put him more upright to where he's kind of looking up. And that's what I want for this, this project here. If you want him to look kind of sad, you'd have him looking down, I think. But there we have a cheerful bird. Next, just for a, a little bit of interest, I cut three little squares. I just look at my hands. I, I do get inky doing this. Um, three squares that are half inch. So I took a half inch piece of basic black cardstock, a strip of it, and then I cut it in half inch pieces to get my little blocks here. And I'm just going to add them to the bottom of my panel just for a little interest. 
um, I'm going to start putting one on the outside. Leave some space in between. Add another one over here. And I like to use glue for this because if you use glue, then you have a moment to kind of move it around if you don't think it looks right. And I'll add one in between them. And there's the little blocks for the for that. And we're ready to put our card together. I'm going to, of course, get rid of my inky paper here. Flip it over. I have a Granny Apple Green card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. This is a quarter card. I just folded it in half. Inside I have a basic black panel that is four by 5.25 and then a basic white panel that is three and three quarters by five. And then I'm going to add my main image panel to a basic black panel. And this is just uh, an eighth of an inch larger than my main image panel. So it's three and five eighths by five and an eighth. I'm gonna move that to this. There is that on there. That makes it pop, doesn't it? That black, just that little bit of black around the edge really helps bring that main panel to life. Add some love to this. And I'm just going to center this on my card front. There's our completed card for today. I hope you enjoyed this project and you're inspired to do some direct to paper. It's really super easy and so fun. Um, no two are alike. Thanks for joining me. Bye.